wapatiwe microphone tafadhali and first of all i want them to introduce oh wapi makofi wageni wetu wa heshimiwa wapi makofi mazuri oh wonderful pastor su and pastor mnene you are welcome leo na kuambia mo tukitoka hapa kukua ready kufanya kazi kwa sababu ya learning a lot praise the lord amen want to thank god for this evening that uh, god has granted us uh, Mr. and Mrs. Moriah for us to be here and I believe that we are going to have a wonderful time in Jesus name. This man of God who is here as you have said there's something I want to talk about introverts and that's who your husband is because we have introverts and extroverts. I'm an extrovert. One of the things that I learned through Pastor Monene is introverts they are very large inside they are very big inside and they look small outside. Are you getting that? Yes. Whereas extroverts of who we are, we are so large outside and very small inside. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You see that? Yeah. And that's why God is a matchmaker. You both cannot be extroverts. Otherwise, that family cannot stand. So one of you must be quiet, another one must be parrot, so that there can be that balance. It is a blessing when you have a wife who is quiet, and you have also a husband who is also quiet. They are very large inside. And most of the times they are ignored because they are not very talkative and they don't like publicity. They also don't like uh, that talking so much to actually review who they are. But if a wife can have a discerning heart and mind, you can tap a lot to make sure that your inside becomes larger like, like him. Are you getting it? Yes. You are so endowed. And the purpose why God brings you into our lives is because so that you can bring now balance. Much more as we may not have much inside, the outside can also have a balance. And that's why this man of God is the one who has actually made Susan Monene to become. Without this man, I would not be. And God is my witness. And uh, uh, I honor you, man of God. This man was my Sunday school teacher. Oh, yes. <laughs> I could tell beyond reasonable doubt whoever will get married to Monene, Akima Ameangukia. But I didn't know what um, over for me. Taught me the word, the school. And I would see the way he's consistent, persistent, polite, very organized. And I would say, God, whoever will get married to Pastor Monene, oh God Almighty. Simungu Vanya Majabu. I'm telling you the truth. God honored that desire. And you see, much more as I loved him, I couldn't go. Those days you couldn't go to approach actually a man. So you had to wait until he comes. Do you know I kept praying, God, Pastor Monene, Pastor Monene. And the day he proposed to me, me at Sikusema Naida Kuviria, Hapo Hapo tu, Nimabia, yes, I want to become your wife. And from there we started planning the wedding. And now today, this is the man whom God gave me. And I salute you, my pastor. I salute you, my mentor. I honor you, sir. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, it's such a blessing being here tonight. Katase of Mr. and Mrs. DJ Mo. One day that uh, Pastor Sue will be my wife. I taught her in Sunday school. Yes. And she has said I was bright in the things of God. Yeah. And um, yes. uh, when, I was, when I was teaching her, there was nothing about, of course, marrying her. We were just growing up together. Yes. But many years down the line, mm -hmm. when God gave me the revelation that she is going to be my wife, yes. I was so glad. Let me tell you, dear friends, uh, my life is never the same again. Mm -hmm. This woman, the way you see her here, is the way she is at home. <laughs> and tonight we want to talk the way it is can we talk the way it is yes. and we are going to answer your question candidly without fear without favor so that you can be helped we are the monene's family yes. mr and mrs monene yes. the founders of overcomers hope ministry in kasarani God has blessed us with our two boys and one girl, Wisdom, Winner, and Unity. Wow. And we thank God. 
uh, but um, the Lord has brought us this far. You know what happened last year when that clip came and went viral. We did not know that that clip, God had you in mind so that today we can be seated where we are seated because somebody must walk out of this place with the freedom and with the joy in Jesus' mighty name. It was meant to bring joy, unity, and love to many families beginning tonight. And so we are ready for you so that we can move on tonight and we are ready for any question. I want to say that there are three things that every married couple must be uh, must make sure that you, you practice so that your marriage can become wonderful. Number one, you must be intentional. Tell somebody you must be intentional. You must be intentional. That is meaning you've got to be very purposeful in your actions and in your words. And one of the things that has made us to remain, you know, without fakeness, without pretense with Pastor Mune, why don't we work on ourselves? Remove every fakeness, pretense, hypocrisy, so that we can become an authority in this area. Because kama kuna kitu mimi likuwa inadisumbua, nitu watuwa. Mi this jama, mi kai. This guy. Expound ulikuwa unasumbuka. You know Pastor, Pastor had not, hapu wamekula raha. This man got born again when he was in 36. So when we got married, that day, you know, after honeymoon, when we were, we, we, we actually went to Tuatu after that. This guy would have sex every minute. I would count like seven, eight times. I think he, he was thinking like, I don't know whether you thought I'm going out of his life. I don't know. <laughs> and he would go around another one, another. You know, Nikienda Kazi Nashita Nikisin, you know, I'm dosing because every hour you're getting, eh? But this thing was not to remain like that. Yeah. After one year, two years, I started realizing things are going four times, three times, you know, and you know what I'm talking about. Oh, thank God you went all those rounds. Yeah. <laughs> because today it's not possible. Yeah. 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 And I'm so, so happy to yes. him. Yes. So you must be intentional even about your sexual life. And that's what we have agreed. That what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 7 from verse 1 to 5, the Bible tells Pastor Monene that his body is not his. His body belongs to me. And my body is not mine now, it belongs to you. And that's one of the things that has made us to actually have a very healthy tour tour. As there's nothing like we are tired, because when we are tired, that's when we do it. Because we have to be intentional. You get that. When you are, when you are tired. There's nothing like you are tired. Because you must, you know, this is a responsibility that you cannot delegate, even to the best friend. Are you getting that? Yeah. You can delegate your wife to be driven by a driver, but you can't delegate it to a tour. The is not you can delegate your work in the office. Yes, you can also delegate. You can work. even uh, be called for a meeting, but oh, you are yes, too busy. Yes. So you delegate somewhere yes. to go and uh, stand in for you. Yes, so this, you know? in our family, there is nothing. I am tired. Mm -hmm. I am stressed. Mm -hmm. We know to a tour is able to remove that stress, mm -hmm. that that God your fatigue yeah. so for us we are very intentional mm. to make sure that we satisfy each other no matter the situation mm. and so you have to be intentional about your tour tour if you are not mm -hmm. you will never have it mm -hmm. what do you mean to be intentional with your tour tour <laughs> you you be deliberate mm -hmm. you know we find it see joystick ako enjoy where you come yeah. joystick na joy where what is <laughs> You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. In other words, what you're talking about is Hakuna Mamba to CGC Kid, CG Feel, CG Feel, Another thing, Pastor, is this feelings. Marriage cannot be, you cannot, you cannot run your is it run, run your marriage yes. on feelings. Uh -huh. My dear, you lose your husband. Mm -hmm. You can't have, one of the things we agreed, mm -hmm. there's nothing like feelings in our home. Mm -hmm. Because if I also feel like I don't want, and he wants mm -hmm. to have tua tua. Mm -hmm. Where is he going to go? Mm -hmm. So we, I made. Sure, I'm, I'm always ready for him, and that's why I meant when I said garine. I meant that mm -hmm. kitchen. I meant that. Yes. Yeah, because in Christian marriage and biblical marriages, we are not supposed to change spouses. 
Pastor Munene is not supposed to sleep with mm -hmm. any other woman, mm -hmm. and especially for him being a servant of God, exactly. and vice versa with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So we are allowed to change venue, mm -hmm. but not spouses. Mm -hmm. So Garine oh, yes. is a new venue. Yeah. Kitchen is a new venue. Change. Yes. I meant what I said. Yes. <laughs> you can change the venue. Yeah, because you as long as there's nobody who can see, see you. Apart from God. Uh -huh. And that's why for us, yes. before we begin this God, the game of God, mm -hmm. I must pray. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who prays before. Mm -hmm. And that does not mean that joystick is going to go down. No. Don't have that mentality that when you pray for your sexual life, at joystick at the end of chin, see my own big mm -hmm. and he begins. And immediately after we finish, mm -hmm. it is him who prays for me. And he blesses me. And whatever we need, that's when we agree. Because it is at that, that level that our spirit, soul, and body are in unison. Wait, so that wait, yes. wait, 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 yes. wait, that is very important. Yes. What do you mean at the we need? Yes. That's when he was because man, uh -huh. listen to this revelation. Uh -huh. Man is a spirit being uh -huh. possessing a soul and living in a body. Uh -huh. So you are three in one. Uh -huh. Repeat again. Uh -huh. Man, man, mutu, mutu. I'm not just talking about gender. I'm talking about every human being. You are three in one. You have three dimensions. You are a spirit being. That is the real Pastor Sue. Pastor Sue is not this lady with this lady in red. No. That is the house that, that houses the real Susan. Susan is a spirit being possessing a soul. Your soul has the mind, the emotions, and the will. And it is between your two years. Never forget that. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about soul tie, mm -hmm. it is about your mind, mm -hmm. your emotions, mm -hmm. and your will. Mm -hmm. Then you have the body. The purpose of this body is to house your mind and to house your That's spirit. It. Because there must be somewhere in a container. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. And so it is only in, in sexual intimacy. Mm -hmm. At that point when, when we are releasing mm -hmm. that our spirit, soul, and body mm -hmm. are able to connect. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible says that whatever to now mm -hmm. shall agree pertaining anything, mm -hmm. it shall be done by the Father which is at in heaven. Oh. Amen. And so, we should have said yes. that your body things on what? Your, food thank you, Pastor. and drinks. If that you, is your body. Wow. Yes. If you don't give your, your body food and drink, mm -hmm. it will die. Mm -hmm. If you don't feed your mind with information and we have two types of information godly information and worldly information mm -hmm. it is your choice to know which information will control your soul mm -hmm. and then your spirit man does not feed on information mm -hmm. your spirit man feeds on God's word and prayer and that's why you find the soul is always wrestling with the spirit man. Because the soul does not feed on the word of God. And so you've got to learn to put your body under the subjection of what the word of God says. Amen. Are you getting that? Yes. So because you are three in one. And that is the difference between you and animals. Animals have a mind and a body. They do not have a spirit. The spirit that is in you is the image of God in you. That's why man is created after the image of God. So the image of God in you is your spirit, but that spirit cannot be seen with your optical eye, neither can you touch with your hands, but that is the real you. Mm -hmm. And that is the part that contacts God. That is the part that, you know, yearns for worship, mm -hmm. you know, yearns to, to, to please God. But the soul, the soul, my dear, and that's what the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, the soul that sinned, not the spirit that sinned, mm -hmm. the soul that sinned mm -hmm. shall surely die. That is so powerful. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to be deliberate. You've got to be intentional to make sure that both of you are the three dimension you are connecting. And that's why the way God has created Pastor Monene, I'm not the, even looking at us. We are very different. Because, because God knew. The Bible says a woman, a woman was created for the man. So the reason why I came in the life of Monene is I was created for you, mm -hmm. to fulfill you, mm -hmm. to be your helper yes. in all things. Yes. Hallelujah. So the Bible says what in this first Corinthians chapter 7 from verse 1. It says uh -huh. that now the joystick, the joystick, the joystick uh -huh. is mine uh -huh. and the joy well belongs to you. Uh -huh. So when you need it, uh -huh. you don't need to beg. Oh, hey, I don't, I don't, don't need, need to borrow. borrow. No, to borrow. What are you borrowing? I, I, I don't yes, need to borrow. There's nothing like no, borrowing. No, there's nothing like begging. Because you are carrying it you for can't me. Beg. How can you beg? How Something that is yours. Hair? It's like, for instance, yes. if, I, if this microphone is mine, yes. I give you the microphone. Yeah, give it. Then 
uh, at some time, mm. I need the microphone. Mm -hmm. I will not come to beg for no. it. No. Because it is mine. You just ask You're me. only keeping it for me. Yes, you just, <laughs> I only take it. You just take it. And use it. And use it. Because it is mine. Yes. There's nothing to call. Wait a minute. But you not talk about bedroom as you want to It's because of so, lack of knowledge, uh -huh. as I said. Uh -huh. And that's why we are bringing knowledge uh -huh. that is based on the word of God. Amen. Because I should never uh -huh. deny the man of God, Pastor Monene, uh -huh. for whatsoever reason, uh -huh. unless I am sick. Uh -huh. And when I'm sick, he has the authority uh -huh. to pray for me, uh -huh. and I get healed uh -huh. in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. In fact, most of the times, when we do a tour, some of this pain just goes. Uh -huh. By the way, yes. most of the sicknesses yes. that the people it, have yes. is because of lack of healthy to a tour. Right. Uh -huh. you healthy, excuse me, healthy and quality. To quality, and to I want tour. to say this. I want to say this about tour tour. It is automatic for a man to reach orgasm, but it's not automatic for a woman to reach orgasm. Right. Ah, and so see. every man, mm -hmm. I want to talk to the men. Every man mm -hmm. must be selfless. Any man who makes the wife reach orgasm, mm -hmm. I want to I want to salute you. You are such a selfless oh, man. Yes. Oh yes, we salute you. We salute, we salute you. you. Amen. Because it takes a man two minutes. Yes. Two minutes. I'm a, I'm a Marisa. Mm -hmm. One to me. I'm a Marisa. So when you see a man, you know, sweating and holding and holding until you come, my dear, that's a man who should be told, thank you. Thank you, my dear. That was excellent. He should be be thanked. Mm. Are you getting that? Yeah. So that is motivated to, to go on. Mm. Well, I hear medical people saying this that and this is this is something that has been proven. If it is possible for every man mm. when you are urinating, what you can do a po a joystick, a pana ukikata ukikata. What are you doing? You are training your brain to hold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is something we have practiced with Pastor Munene. Yes, and it has worked. So Pastor Munene has and practiced. And we, we are not young people. Mm -hmm. We are yes. old. Pastor Munene has it worked. Yes. Mm. Of course. Mm. It has worked. Mm. Yes. Yes. Because if you keep on, you, you, you know, when you keep holding, when you are going to the to urinate, that's the only exercise that you can exercise your joystick. So the years we are approaching 50s like we are doing I tell you that you are not able to hold because you never trained the brain because everything is about the brain isn't it? Yes. Even, even sexual arousement it's all about your mind and the body is that not true? so you must train your mind to keep holding so that the man can be able to hold to hold and I want to speak a secret that is in the book of uh, Proverbs. Proverbs okay. 15. Is it 5? Chapter 5. 5 yeah. verse 15. Yes. 5 verse 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish you had the scripture in Amplified. It's so powerful. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells a man, wow. drink water wow. from your own system. Drink Running water, water uh -huh. from your well. So God likens uh -huh. the vagina of a woman mm -hmm. as a well. Drink water from your, your own system, running water. Running water. Uh -huh. This is what God meant. Ukienda kwa kisima, unastahili kuchota maji au kumwaga maji. Kuchota maji. Sio kumwaga. No, 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 circumstance. When we go to the well, mm -hmm. do we go kuchota maji au kumwaga maji? Kuchota, kuchota maji. maji. Mm -hmm. But what do we do in tuatua? Tunamwaga. Yeah. Yes, that's where the mistake is. Because yes, we, we are now on the on the Bible. We are on the Bible. We are not out. So the Bible tells a man, mm -hmm. drink water mm -hmm. from your own system. Mm -hmm. This is thank God that you came. This is what has made us very healthy mm -hmm. into a tour. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's not real. And it is real mm -hmm. because as when we learn something and we were taught this by our bishop, Bishop Epito. I tell you the truth, that man of God has taught us many things about Watoa. Yes. And this is what God meant. Mm -hmm. When a man drinks the water from the well, mm -hmm. water ya kumwaga. Because what helps your wife is the semen, not the sperms. There's a difference between semen, semen and yeah. sperms. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sperms yes. are from the testes. Okay? <laughs> semen is from your prostate gland. And I'm sure I have medical people here. Yes. Isn't it? Someone yeah. who is here with them, they can they can rule out whether the, the pastor is on. Anybody who is in the medical field, please, please even if you yeah, thank you. I need someone who can support that. And if I'm saying something wrong, please correct me. Is it true? Yes. yes. Yeah. So, so semen is from your 
prostate semen is from your prostate gland mm -hmm. and sperms are from the testes the purpose of the of the semen is what benefits a woman in a kutengeneza ngozi unakaa msupu unakaa katoto mapimpos ina kwanza mimi mapimpos inatoka unakaa tu you know young and promising you get the point young and promising i tell you that semen is very important but sasa kama kama pastor anaenda round moja anamaliza how will i gain and the semen i understand is from 1.5 ml to 2.5 ml so that's very little. So that means what? The more a man stays on, mm -hmm. the more the semen keeps coming out from the prostate. And that's what helps your wife. That's what it means. Drinking. You cow kikunua. You know? Kunua kabisa. You get the point. But when you come very fast, sometimes it can be also... And I want to tell every woman, any man who comes very fast, I tell you the truth, it is not their wish. Never quarrel him. I can even go on my knees. If there are people who want to satisfy their wives, it is the men. It's only that they don't know the how. And especially now, when you reach 40 years, you get the point. Kindly assist him and seek advice. You get that. And also, you can advise us a little bit. Yes. Now, how do we now yeah, maintain so a little bit? You, 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 yes. you do it when you feel like you, you want to come. Mm -hmm. you, you, you try to, to continue stimulating your wife. Because when the stimulation of a woman is interrupted, we go down. And to raise us again, it is very difficult. Mm -hmm. ah. That's right. So thank you, women. Yeah. Very true. Right. Yeah. So a man must not concentrate so much mm -hmm. on his coming. Mm -hmm. He must concentrate on the wife first of all reaching orgasm. So because mwana nini. so mwana ume, ili, ili concentrate na iki to sana. Make sure, nini. make sure don't stay men. Now this is not women. These are men. Mm -hmm. Men don't stay in the four corners of the bed. Okay. Make sure you you disrupt it to your mind. Yes, yes. You know, ukisikia kama moto bai kama pita pita na koi. Remember, make sure you keep distracting yourself. And sign some few checks. You are meeting with some people. And you are still on tour. You are getting that. Who are a few people in the office? Yeah, four, yeah. Yeah, remember what you happen. You must keep distracting, distracting your mind. So that now, you are, you can stay longer and longer. You are getting that. You are getting that. What are you doing? And the brain is able to go that far <laughs> right now can I send you home yeah. can you go to your home right now are you there yeah. um, I think within seconds yeah. so the brain is how you train it mm -hmm. you're getting mm -hmm. that so keep disrupting yourself as a man mm -hmm. but a lady listen to these women never leave your mind your spirit your body must be within the four corners mm -hmm. you must concentrate on your excitement yes. no 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 forget about him first of all reach concentrate on your own excitement so that you reach you uh, yes. may encourage me. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. But when you keep yes. getting disrupted, eh? Wow. What are you doing? Yes. You are disrupting the flow. So, what do you do? Make sure you have everything ready. Okay? You have everything ready. Please. Make sure you have all the towers ready. Everything is ready. The curtains are down. Nakama Mulango Razima. For adventure, children come in, mami kapla wano, tell them to wait a little bit, daddy is dressing. Always use the father. Pastor will say me. Yes. Always use the father. Yes. Kuna mahali uluku umesoma proverbs. Yes. Ukaseme ya kwamba watu wakunye. Sasa hili mutu wakunye kwa mda mulefu, mkitu ya moja ni kudisrupt. You disrupt. Ehe, nini gine? Then the second thing that every man must do is, um, you get to the point. Eh? I thought eh? No, because the Bible tells you to drink from your system. And that's why you find the, the, the way God has created the joy well, it's very watery. And when you, you there's, a, there's a place you just unaguza, imagine to in a, in a talk or two, you're getting, yeah. we call it squatting, I think yes. something like that. Mm -hmm. So what are you supposed to do? <clears throat> And this is, it can be controversial to some people who are in the Bible. He's called Onan. And this guy, uh, the, the brother, the elder brother, had married a wife called Tama. 
And the Bible says that when this man went for the battle, he actually died. And when he died, Tamar had just been married. And so, go, and so uh, Onan was requested to go and sleep with Tamar so that she can give a generation to the brother. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, Aliambiwa asimuage inje amuage dani. That's the Bible. I want, you, I, want, I, want you to, I want you to listen to me. Bible in a same Mariambiwa, Asimuage, Asimuage, Inje, Amuage, Dani. That's where the message is. Usimuage, Inje, Muaga, Dani. He chose to do what? To do what he has always done. Kumuaga, Inje. Kumuaga, Dani. The Bible says when God saw that, he 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 was angry with him because the Bible says God killed him because of not ejaculating inside Thomas, you know, well, and, and giving the brother offspring. So this is it. It may be controversial, but this is the truth. And this is a revelation that God gave me. And you should not argue with my revelation. Because it has worked. <laughs> Everybody has a, a revelation from the word of God. Yes. For me. According to Proverbs 5 verse 15, and we have practiced it with the pastor, it has worked for us. He's not, as long as I've, I've, I've now noted that, because this is the only man me I know. This is dream with Mwingine. As long as Ananda, 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 Anaskia Kumwaga, Akiski Kabisa, he's a point of no return. If he comes out and he, he ejaculates outside, because you see, we are, you know also the reason why men were, in the Old Testament, the reason why men were with the draw is because they, that was a form of family planning. Remember, there were no family planning methods. Uh, is that not uh, true? Yeah. So people used to do family planning by withdrawing. Mm -hmm. And you're getting that. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, this is something we have practiced. We have practiced with pastor. Uh, we are past that. So for us, sex is actually for enjoyment. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You see what total. Yeah. And those who those who are pro, who want to have procreation, yes. continue kumwabandani. You need it because you never know uh -huh. which one God can use. Uh -huh. But for us now, what we do? Pastor naenda naenda naenda. Akisikia nataka kumwaga natoka inje. As long as you unamwaga inje, joystick does not shrink. He remains strong. I want you to go and practice tonight. You'll be amazed. It's a mystery. Tonight. I'm opening very deep secrets yes. that God taught us. Yes. God taught us. This is not something, I don't know whether it is in and, there. And you have given them uh, whatever. And, I'm, I'm not, and here I'm working yes. on Proverbs 5 verse 15. I mean, this is a revelation that God gave us and it has worked for my family. I don't know whether it, it will work for you, but try it. Because medically they say a man should ejaculate 21 times in a man without masturbation. Excuse so how me. is that possible? You need to repeat that one again. Yes. Yeah. Medically, for, the, for the prostate gland yes. to be healthy, yeah. for the prostate gland of a man to be healthy, yeah. he needs to ejaculate 21 times yeah. in, a month. in a month without masturbation. So how is that? Uh, uh, 21 so that the, so, that the, so that the prostate gland can remain healthy. Wow. You see that? 21 times. And pastor, you're not supposed to masturbate. Because masturbation is the self-stimulation to reach orgasm. That one, no. Because it gives him selfishness. Uh -huh. You get that. Uh -huh. So, me, I'm working on the word of God. Proverbs 5, verse 15. So, this is the revelation I got. Because the person who wrote the Bible is the Holy Spirit. So, me, I asked him, what did you mean here? Do you know when we got that revelation and started practicing with the pastor? And I Anatoka, anamwaga inje, anaenda tena, mpaka asikie, the first, the first time when we tried, alienda the first time, akamwaga inje, the second time akamwaga in the Holy of Holies, inside Kabisa. You're getting it? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's, there's no competition. There's no competition. Yes. It is about our own pace. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the second time, akamwaga dani. The other time I encouraged him to kind of two inje, the third one, akaenda dani. Ivo, Ivo, right now we are almost at six times. In only one game. So let me ask you, if we are only meeting once, once in a, in a, in week, a week, in a week, how many weeks are in a month? Four. Four weeks. Oh. Four weeks, isn't yeah. it? So that means what? If we only meet once in a week and, and to a tour only once in a week mm -hmm. and he's able to go five times. The, the last one, the Atamwa Gandani, mm -hmm. how many times are that in a month? 20. 20. 20. Are we near the threshold? Yes, oh, of yes. 21. 
Now you can tell why Pastor Monene has this body. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And by the way, yes. on that on that on that note, by the way, kuna, kuna how yes. long should tua tua last? Thank you. Okay. That, that is very important. It came a from a man. Question. It came from a man. Yeah, and that's a very good question. It, 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 you, the two of you don't have um don't have a, a performance kind of a mentality. Be real to each other. Mm. You Wait a minute. Up. Yes. So. What one of Gonga Naira performance mentality? No, no, no. What are you trying to prove? What is Pastor Monena trying to prove for 20 years? There's nothing. He needs to be himself. And I should not pressurize him. You get that? But what I need is to encourage him. If, if you see what all oh, three rounds, well and good. There's nothing like proving to me that he can. This guy was going seven when we married. So even if right now he does one, for me I'm okay. And that's why it's very important to stick with your wife. Because even when you go down, your wife knows you when you are very high. Sasa imaneno ya kutafuta tusiana. Because that's my kuti ukunye viegra. So that you prove you are. That's why men are dying. They are dying because you have to put to, to, to take a, you know sex and boosters because you have to prove to this girl you are really a man. Pastor Mona doesn't need to prove to me. He just needs to come natural. Mm -hmm. I don't want him to use any other uh, uh, sexual booster and to perform on me. No, even I wouldn't want to hear that. It, it is an arm enough to, to soothe this ego. Handle this man with a lot of respect and honor, and I tell you the truth, joystick must manifest. That's very simple. And that's why the Bible talks about, that's why the Bible talks about uh, women respecting their husband. You don't know what God meant. When a man is respected and honored by the wife, there's a direct connection with his sexual performance. But wow. you know, yes. Is it true, yes. man? Is it true? Yes. Men say yes. yes. All men say I. When uh, a man is yes, respected. respected and honored by the wife, I tell you the truth, you manifest anywhere, in the everywhere. You feel you you because anything that anything that humbles itself before a man, mm. a man wants to lift it up. Mm. And that's why you find fathers are very moved by their little girls. Mm -hmm. Pastor, you look at the fathers and their daughters, they are like this. Why? Akikuja, kanafanya ivi, kanaflit, kanafanya ivi, baba ni inue. Lakini kijana, dad, umekuja, umekuja nini? Ana shukuri. That's why you find fathers have an affinity to love the baby girl, naturally. Why? Anything that humbles itself before the hands of a man, he wants to lift it up. Anything that fights with him, he wants to make sure he suppresses. Be intentional about respecting him and honoring him. Not for what he can bring, just because he's the head of the family. I'm very intentional. Now, Pastor Su, I'm going to ask you. Very intentional. Yes, my dear. Now, because there's a connection between respect, mm -hmm. so respect, yeah. what is hearing respect? Mm -hmm. His mind, mm -hmm. his mind. Mm -hmm. And God put an ego in him that is not in me. Mm -hmm. So my work is to soothe this ego mm -hmm. that is in him, talk to him with respect. Mm -hmm. And when I do that, let me tell you the truth, this man will perform, but look at it. Hmm? <laughs> Okay, now, Pastor Sue, you have all the reason to be to honor your husband. Yes. Because he's done well. Yes. He's uh, he's doing well. Yes. He's uh, all the, the the good things a husband should be. Yes. Now maybe there's a woman in the room. Yes. Where the husband is the opposite of him. No, now we, that's why we have come. Yes. Because I'm coming on the side of of the women. Yes. Because it, the man, in fact, the man is the one who's supposed to begin mm -hmm. according to the word of God. Yes. yes. Because the man is the head mm -hmm. of the wife. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So in other words, what the Bible says, okay. Susan has no head. Munasikia, kulingana na mungu mimi sina ki? Kichwa. Sina kichwa. Kichwa yangu ni pasta munene. So when God looks at this family, he sees me through munene. Because pasta munene, the head of pasta munene is Christ. And you're getting the honor of God. So the Christ is the head of pasta munene. Pasta munene is the head of Susan. You get that. What God gives a husband is something called headship anointing. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of headship anointing mm -hmm. is to protect the wife. Mm -hmm. It is to preserve the wife. Mm -hmm. It is to call the inner beauty in her. Mm -hmm. Because it is the greater that blesses the lesser. You talked about you, you, you're it getting is to that. call the, the inner, inner beauty, beauty 
of a wife. Of a wife, because the, the day when you met me, the very first few days, what attracted you could be was the outward beauty, whatever it could have been beauty to you. But now that I came in your life, it is your personal responsibility, my dear one, to call the inner beauty in Susan. And you know what your wife is. If you don't call the inner beauty in your wife, your wife will die having not fulfilled the mandate of God in this my generation. Wow. So, and you will be answerable for that. Mm. Because the reason why God made you the head, mm. you are not just the head. Mm. That's why you are the head. And the inner beauty, and the cannot, inner beauty cannot be called by my dad, by your father, your my brothers, brothers, my neighbors, my so, cousins. So when you talk about the inner beauty, yes. what exactly do you the mean? The inner beauty are the virtues that are in your wife. You know that your wife is very caring. Your wife is a good cook. Your wife is, can, is patient. Call those things. Tell her. And do not have a myth that is with African men that the more you praise a wife the more the more stubborn arrogant nagging she becomes it is a wrong That's mentality amen. I want to say it a thousand percent Woo! it is not true man it is not true let me, let me emphasize on that because our African men have an, an attitude yes. that when you appreciate your wife you tell her that she's mothering she's caring she's all this no let me tell that makes you because we are now following the word of God. We are not following philosophers. We are following the word of God. Mm -hmm. So now that you are the head of the wife, mm -hmm. whatever you call her mm -hmm. is what is going to become of her. That's and true. that's why, mm -hmm. I want to go on something. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very dangerous for any husband mm -hmm. to talk toxic communication to the wife mm -hmm. because surely it will happen. So and that's why I find now separating and divorcing and leaving because they can't take it. Because he, you can't curse your husband, but your husband can curse you through his words because he was and that's why you find any man who is not subjected to a higher authority which is christ he has a problem with love but a man who is subjected to christ love flows because he's connected to the source so what are those toxic toxic words? communication, communication. Talked about like toxic. for example with a mukewako malaya it is the what are you do you know what you are doing you are mobilizing all the demons, My all the spirits of sexual immorality uh -huh. to get in the life of your wife. Uh -huh. You get to the point. When you call her stupid, let me tell all the stupidity uh -huh. now gathers uh -huh. because it is the it is the greater uh -huh. talking uh -huh. to the lesser. Uh -huh. You're getting that. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible says in the book of Colossians, mm -hmm. 3 verse 19, husbands, mm -hmm. husbands, do not be bitter with your wife. Mm -hmm. Not wives. It is not that wise to not be bitter with your husband. Why? When Munene is bitter with me, whatever he says, it will happen. Okay, now, right. someone, a woman has asked, this is, this is interesting, Cynthia. A woman has asked, can sex be boring sometimes in marriage? Mm -hmm. If yes, how can you handle it? Yes, it can be boring. And it takes two to tango. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest weakness that has brought a lot of sexual immorality to the to the body of Christ and even to people who have had very stable marriages is boredom. Boredom is one of the causes of premarital, you know, and extramarital affairs. So you it can be boring because you don't speak about it. Why is it that we are thriving in our businesses? It is because we give feedback. I've had a bountiful uh, safaris where is he? This great man. I think somewhere. We have left. Yeah. Oh, no, he's, he's there. no, there are Sam, somewhere. You are there? Bountiful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, just just with, a, with with all humility. Do you give feedback to your wife what is happening? Just say yes or a no. Yes, you do. Thank you. If there is something that will make your marriage stand, is feedback. Without feedback, you will think you are performing, but you are underscoring. And that's why the best feedback for your family is your husband and your wife. And I want to, de to demystify something, a mentality that the devil has put in the minds of so many people who are married. We have this mentality that your husband cannot correct you. Your wife cannot correct you. Who is she? Let me tell you the truth. The person who has the highest interest for your life is your husband and your wife. Amen. If the two of you would agree that is true. to give feedback mm -hmm. on good things and also things that are not working, mm -hmm. let me tell you the truth, your family will stand. Actually, maybe I'll say something very important. Yes. My dear one, mm -hmm. one of the things that we have agreed, I and Pastor Sue, yes. 
we agree that when I correct her, mm -hmm. she has no case. There is no case. To put after that. No, 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 no. Because the reason why husbands fear to correct their wives, mm -hmm. it is because of the cases that come after the correction. Thank you. So we agreed. Mm -hmm. When I correct her, no case after. No case. When he corrects me, mm -hmm. no case after. Mm -hmm. That way, you are able to improve one, one another. another. Very but if well. your spouse realizes that anytime you correct, there's going to be a case, mm -hmm. then you leave you for other people to correct you in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. You better be corrected at home than in the marketplace. And you see now, if Pastor Monone doesn't correct me, my dear ones, members in the church will start knowing, Mama, Pastor Susan has a problem. Workers also discover that. When I come, you are able to tell me, mm -mm, oui, mama, kuna kitu. Mm -mm, something is not adding up. Because you can only impact that which is in your heart, not what is in your mind. Wow. Pastor Sue and Pastor Munene. Yes. There's a question here. How do you deal, this is from a woman. Yes. How do you deal with a man who does not prepare you for twa twa? My Just goodness. penetrates uh -huh. and does his work uh -huh. without involving the other. Number one is lack of knowledge. Who you are doing? Now, now, now the boss, that's why you people you have come here and we need to have such forums so that who who you know it's it's very it's very sad to see that we are all career women here and career men and we've been trained we have our lecturers we have people who have been me mentoring us in becoming what we want to be in our businesses in our career but when it comes to marriage you find that people do not have mentors the reason why pastor Munene and pastor Su our marriage I'm so sure that it will finish the way we started is because we have serious mentors people who question us Pastor Munene, unaendelea nje na mke wako how is to atua unamfanya anafika munaomba ulimwambia ulimwambia leo unampenda hapa ni jana mbona jana as Christ has, did Christ live to love you from 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 you you could cut it questions na ananipigia simu kuni hello i talked with your husband and i wanted to know mambo ya kitanda iko aje bishop iko sawa huko ni kupiga ni ni joy s o s o shouts of joy shouts of joy s o j ah eh aha communication iko aje me bishop siju kama pastor for depressed ni kama kuna kitu inamsumbua due for the last three days he seems to be withdrawn when i ask him question something is not okay then they talk because if you don't have mentors my dear ones like all these things i'm teaching you i was taught i was taught but suppose i didn't have a mentor I would still be, you know, doing with the little knowledge that I have. If you find a husband who is not able to prepare you, my dear, your husband has no knowledge. Not that he hates you to have, you know, a better to what And men need to know that. That it is important for a woman to be prepared. Have foreplay. Kiss her. You know, yes, caress her, touch her, let her even guide you. Which are the most sensitive parts? Because the reason why even God put the cleat in a woman, men listen to this. The reason why God put a cleat of a woman, it is because God and, and the cleat has more than 8,000 nerve endings, equivalent to the glad pennies, the glad, the tip. The tip of a man is also has eight thousand nerve endings. So what God gave a man is what He gave a woman. Uh -huh. So the reason why He put that cleat outside, God wanted the woman to reach orgasm before, before penetration. That's why how we work and done your joy well. Because he wanted you to to, to 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 love your wife with your hands, touch, let her guide you. And so that is very key. But because some of us, you know, uh, this was the first marriage, we've never been married again. And if we have, we were never taught. You need mentors. Men, you need mentors if your marriage is going to go far. People you can call and ask them, Missy Vicky Ogazim, for the last two months, what am I going to do? And they're able to come and guide you without being biased and without seeing like, Hakwani Yamujui he. Yes, tunaisa kosa kuwa, tunajua. And that's why you know so that you can teach us. Kindly, I would request that man, invest, invest your time in knowledge. And that's why we have brought this knowledge. And God has given, me and Pastor Munene, we can talk for even five hours about sex. Basing it on the word of God. It's just an outflow. Because this is something we have practiced for over 15 years. So, I want to say that when you, when you hear their seminars, come. Because the next time I would want to have a blackboard. 
uh, somewhere I can write, draw, try to show you how to penetrate. Because I, uh, we are taught that the woman, the, the, the vagina of a woman, is only two inch sensitive. Two inch only. So the deeper you go, the nothing we feel. The outer you are, the better we feel. Wait. What yes. you say? Yes. You see that? What yes. do you mean? Yes. Sasa tuseme hii ndio vagina? Yes, hiyo ndio alisha nikakuwa na karamu ninge wachorea kabisa. Hiyo ndio vagina tumeshika. Yes, the, it's only sensitive to inch, <laughs> two inch inside. And so every man must know sio uingie hewa inaingia alafu natoka. Who you kifanya hiyo? We don't feel anything. So mwanaume anafaa fanye nini? You must maintain inside. There's no emergency. Where are you going? There's no emergency in sex. My dear ones, this woman is with you four hours, six hours to come. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So this person is with you six hours, four hours. So don't, don't have an emergency mentality. Take your time. And that's why for us we sing for it. Tunaweka wimbo. Whatever in what tunaimba tu, tunaimba tu, tukigusana tu, tukiwa tu, you know, naked but not ashamed. Even but we are preparing ourselves. You get the point. Make it fun. Make it fun, especially when the children are not there. Cuz a kwetu wakienda wakienda kwa shoshu na wherever. Oh my goodness, that house is just another one. Uh, and we make sure the curtains are so that neighbors don't take a selfie. Nene, a a video. Make sure everything because nobody should see you having to a tour with your partner. So ensure that a man wacha kuingia deep. Wewe utaenda to the holy of holies. Kwanza ka hapo outer court. Outer court. Outer court. Ukimbia Mungu. Anaweza anawe. Huwa na nyie. Anaweza mwana. Hey, and the wife is able to guide you and then communicate. Mwambie no, my dear, continue there. No, go deeper. Your wife should guide you. Hii mambo ya kufanyana mkiwa mmenyamaza. <laughs> no, it is not godly. Give feedback. It's not even beautiful. It is not even it's boring. It's boring. So give feedback. After your wife has reached orgasm, Sasa ingia to the holy of holies and a speak plus quality and manifest the victory of the Lord. Yes. 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 A good thing, uh, do you still do you give your husband a BJ? According to the word of God, there is nothing that talks about oral sex. You're getting that, eh? Yes. Yeah. Just like we don't advocate any sex. Mm. You're getting it? Eh? Yeah. So the, that one we leave it to you. But uh, the real the real sex that the Bible talks about is a vagina and a penis. Mm. You get that. Yes. Then use the other parts to arouse your wife and all that. But oral, the Bible is silent about that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. How do I know she's faking the orgasm? You see, the reason why they'll be faking is because when there is no feedback, feedback. Like for us, we give feedback after every game. Just in a, in, in a sentence. My dear, that was excellent. I learned in any. You see that? It's enough. Not a critical, non-verbal communication. No. With love. My dear Leo. Hey, I can't marata. I can't. You see, we are encouraging. Yeah, show there is still hope. So give each other feedback and no. positive feedback because if I tear this man down, I am the loser. I am the one who is, go who is going to suffer. Pastor on, Sue, now, yes. the ladies, most ladies are afraid to talk about their husband's performance mm -hmm. because they are afraid how the husbands will react and how they will feel mm -hmm. what the next twa twa. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what is your advice to the men also? Wonderful, thank you. I want to talk to every woman. Anytime you want to correct your husband, use a method I call sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich again. Mm -hmm. sandwich. You start with something positive. Like let me just even not use even twa twa. <laughs> hey. 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 I, you use sandwich and that's what I use on Pastor Moneli. Like for example, let me say, let me just use finances. My dear, Akibewe, to keep up the pesa, we can stay ruda, kitusuru, all that. But my dear, the pesa to receive to make a account. What will end up? Town, Mukakuta, and DJ, Mukaku, as Ote. To see only at a receipt, Hapa. Na juu tu ni jana tu ni ni muri yenda muka muka mess mess na DJ mu na juu next time akitu kipanga kitu ya finances utaifanya 
You see that? There's an extra one. Me, that's why I don't like planning with you anything money. Where's the money that we said we are going to put in the bank? I'm not seeing the receipt here. Me, that's why I don't like planning with you. Because anytime you go with the DJ, you're going to put your face as well. It's a woman solving the same problem, but with a different attitude. So anytime you shout to your husband, let me tell you the truth. You know what he does? He withdraws and he, feel, he feels threatened. He takes his heart and locks it somewhere. And he locks it somewhere. You never know when he has money, when he doesn't have money. He looks like a zoopy, just like that. Because men hate dread. Women, we can drive in dread to each other. But anytime you, you threaten your husband, you are losing it 100%. And you are increasing the gap. And this man knows there is no future, there is no life here. And he begins to think or for an option. So a wise, a wise woman never threaten a husband. Husband. You can threaten those ones, whatever, business people, but a husband never, never, please. It is, it, is a, it is something that has been practiced and it looks like it is normal, but I came to tell you it doesn't work. Because even if he has done mistake, handle him, leave a free space. Men are not able, they love free space. That's where they are created by God. Not like a co-wife. <laughs> you get not like a, a co-wife. Treat him with honor. Thank you, my dear. I can now see. What do you want to do? 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 What is happening? What is not you? Are you stressed? Or is there something that you want me to improve? And just look like you are there because you, you are hopeful. The Bible says we call things that are not as though they are. So for me, it is more practicing the word of God in my husband. So even when he has done a mess, I will handle him like a king. Because a king is a king even without a queen. But there is no queen without a king. Oh wow, fantastic. Now, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is so, so a, a, a question for my lady. How do you deal with a husband who has a bad breath? Can I tell you this? Anybody who has a problem with bad breath is not aware. Hmm? Now let's back it through the sink in you. They are not aware. You'll be amazed. They are not. They are not. And that's why feedback is very important because the only person who has the best interest for your life is your husband and your wife. And that's why you need to create that rapport. You get that. And if you have a husband who has such a challenge, number one, it could be because of diet. Ensure that um, in the morning before he takes breakfast, let him take water, two to three glasses of water. And you can also mix with apple cider vinegar. You know it? Apple cider vinegar, American garden. Women, you know, you put it here. Yeah. You can also squeeze the lemon and then let him take with a straw because apple cider vinegar and lemon has a way of destroying the enamel. It makes you become sensitive in your teeth. So never take ndimu. Ensure it is lukewarm, take with a straw. With the time, utansa kusikia meno imekua, sensitive because of citric acid that is in the lemon. Yomu meshika. So ensure you have a straw. Let him take like, uh, like, a, like a glass or two glasses. And apple cider vinegar, 10 ml is okay. Unless you are over 8 kgs, that's when you can use like 3, 10, 15 ml. Let him take in the morning. Then when he's brushing, buy bicarbonate soda. Bicarbonate soda, you know it? Mm. But it is in the supermarket. It costs 30 shillings. Or the, the highest, I, I, I think, is around 60 shillings. Then mswaki yake analoweksha kwa maji then ana anaguza hiyo bicarbonate soda then he puts on the toothpaste then he brushes and especially the tongue the tongue if he does that morning lunch and evening that will go and then never take apple cider vinegar when you are full because it stops digestion so take it 20 minutes or 30 minutes before you take breakfast or even supper in the evening you can you can use a friend there are men who are just difficult they, they are men who are difficult you can use a friend who is nearer and if that is not so text him tell him dear i we went somewhere and we were taught about that and i and and, and, and we were told that someone who smells just put it in a way that looks you care you know 
nikamwambia sasa hii mdomo yako na vile inanuka unaleta unataka kukisa nani Mr. Mr. Tatapika Tatapika it is true you are real but the way you are putting it I mean it is just puts off the man so it's a matter of just packaging be intentional in your talk mm -hmm. you're getting eh yes. so what we said is what be, be intentional. intentional now but yes. yes. there's a woman who's here who's yes. intentional mm -hmm. but ni kama hakuna results yes anasema mm -hmm. what can i do to the ma to the man of my life to mm -hmm. be active in bed mm -hmm. pastor chege mm -hmm. has said you can even walk naked mm -hmm. i have done that mm -hmm. and it doesn't help at all please help does baby fat offend him no men are not moved so you know na yangu so you know na yangu let me tell you the truth any woman with this belly i want i came to talk to you the reason why we cannot be like young girls is because a generation has passed out of oh him. yes oh, never yes. never be ashamed that you have this fat belly no 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 this is a sign as a gen you have a generation Three children, generations, have passed through, the, through me. And that is in the book of Malachi 2, verse 16. That's what God says. That the reason why he brings a husband and a wife to be together, God is looking for a godly generation. You are not a girl. You are a wife, you are a mother, and a mother of all creation. This one is very important. Unless, unless... Unless Amen. it is something genetic in your family. Mm -hmm. There are families that even when they deliver, the women are still figure eight. That's okay, we thank God for them. Mm -hmm. But people like me, my dear, hey, hata isipokuwa ni mungu ingekuwa hapa. Lakini, kama ni kupoa, kwa ni pastor anafanya, si anainua, na anaenda kwa joy well. Tunaendelea na kazi. Men are not moved. Oh, wow, wapi makofi hiyo ni kukala. Men are not moved so much by, in fact, their wife, their original wife, they can be moved by girls in the office, but the original wife, there's something God has put in a man. He has no problem. So, what do we do? I want to tell you something, women. Anytime you try something once and over again, I want you to know from today, it is no longer a physical problem, but a spiritual problem. Wow. Anytime again, you start, you... Or what you can do to make sure that this marriage stands, but the more you do, the more things are getting worse. Like, for example, let me give an example. The more I, I am good to my husband, the more he keeps going out with other women. Susan, come back, clear your mind. This is not a physical problem. Uh -huh. This is a spiritual problem. And all spiritual problems are solved spiritually. And physical problems are solved physically. Wow. So if you get that, so this is it. This is it. So if it is physical, continue doing what you are doing because persistency wears resistance. Yes. So if it is physical, but if it is spiritual, my dear, you need a team and people who are very genuine. So that they can team us, that you can team up and pray against that. And you know what? You have authority to pray for your husband. The Bible says that if you're married to a husband who is not a believer through sexual intercourse, that husband is consecrated and sanctified through you. Oh, wow. If you obey the word, you are sorted. The only problem with us is we don't have the word. So we do things with what we hear, what we are reading from Google, and Google is written by most of them scientists. People don't have the, 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 the aspect of godliness. If you remove godliness out of Tuatua, it becomes now worldly. You're getting that. Yes. So we must carry the mentality. And that's why David said something. Blessed in the book of Psalms 103, he said something. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. So is joy stick part of the all? Yes. yes. Is joy well part of the all? Yes. And they should bless the name of the Lord. So when we are having to atua, we are blessing the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm not blessing the Lord. So for me, it's not just another game that we pass us. I'm blessing the Lord. So the Lord must give us uh, grace. We must enjoy it. Be put. See, mungu di ali dupe iman vitu. How could a mutu ali? Who gave you that joystick? And jo God. So involve God. Be God conscious. Be intentional to invite God. And I tell you the truth. Do you know what I believe for Pastor Monene? And God is my witness. I believe for Monene, Genesis 6, verse 3. The Bible says that the spirit of, of, of this, my spirit will not, will not contend with a man, 
but the days of a man shall be 120 years. Let me tell you the truth. Me, I know. Even when we are 115 with Pastor Munene, to that one, that one is that one. Wow. I keep confessing it every day. Wow. Because I'm standing on the scriptures. And the Bible talks about Abraham. Abraham, when he was 137 years, the Bible says, he mourned Sarah for seven days. And the Bible says, after that, he married a young girl called Keturah. Na wakaza vijana saba. Na wasichana wako esabiwa. Muzeo wa miaka kapi? 137. And the Bible says in the book of Galatians 3 verse 19 that we are the seed of Abraham. Wow. Sasa sisi, nasi matutu watuwa ne. Sasa, Pastor Su. Okay, now this is interesting. Since 2015, no twatwa. Yes. I am, 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 am I normal or should I look for another man? I am a woman. Oh, That's and then how comes to a tour reduces when children come? So oh. you can start with the first one. It's very sad, Mama. Since I'm, 2015, she's a woman. No, that is spiritual, and you need to take my number zero seven two one. You need to call me. Mm -hmm. Call me personally. I'll help. Kama kuna kitu na fraisha kama na umeni tu watua. Ata fadari yako se pesa lakini yuana patiwa. So seeing that he's not able, something is not right. I kindly call me. I'll assist you. I've assisted many, so I'll assist you. Oh, don't worry. Wow. Don't worry. It, 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 there's hope. There's okay. hope, my dear. Now, this, there are several ladies who've asked this. Mm -hmm. um, if it, uh, um, I'll just, she can share the question. Mm -hmm. Is it possible for couples to build back on trust after discovering infidelity? Yeah. Ah, and then, mm -hmm. if your man cheats, mm -hmm. should you give him twa twa? Wow. Good questions. Ah, yeah. If you find your husband cheating on you, on you, on his phone, or even through his friends, what is one supposed to do? Actually, cheating with your friends or relatives. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, those, those, I think. Um, wow, let me talk about uh, sexual immorality in marriage. And we have all that message, by the way. In our YouTube channel, Pastor Su Munene Official, you will find that in the YouTube. We have discussed all those topics. So you are, you're able to go there and get knowledge out of that. I want to say that uh, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 27, verse 7, that someone who is, who is hungry, even when he finds something rotten, it is sweet to him. You're getting it? Eh? And that's why it's very important we satisfy each other sexually to the maximum. And that's why we are talking about feedback. Because I need to get feedback from Pastor Munene. Am I performing as, as per his expectation? And what area does he want me to improve? Because nature, get this, nature does not allow vacuum. That's a very strong statement. Wow. Nature does not allow vacuum. So if, if I am not sexually satisfied, a woman may divert being a masturbator or might get into getting sex toys. And so most of the men, um, if if there is um, there is hunger, mama kika sirika na kasirika mambo yote, unarara na baika, na, na kila kituju, you want to use that to punish him. Then, uh, then that one is, is um, I would say that is lack of knowledge. Because you should never use tua tua because so at to punish your husband at because I'm a kosea. In fact, I always tell women, have it, then sit down and discuss the matter. Mutakuta kuna kuna case, uta murumia. You get but e maneno ya kama to make kosania pesa, kama to make kosania watoto, kama to make nini, until we solve that I can't give you. It is not godly. Why? You must separate the matter from the person. Mume kosania pesa, hamucha kosania sex. Mume kosania mother-in-law, hamucha kosania sex. So that separation is very important. If you don't separate the matter from the person, let me tell you the truth, that marriage will separate and that marriage will, will actually divorce. Why? You have poor conflict management. And that's why teachings are very important. My dear ones, let us invest in knowledge. So it's very important to give feedback. Because if, if, uh, the, the, if uh, let's say for example, what made Pastor Monene go out is because I was annoyed because of the way the mother spoke to me. I need to separate Pastor Monene and the mother. I'm not married to the mother. I'm not married to the brothers and sisters. I'm married to him. And so he needs to tell me, my wife, that day, 
when I came home and I was ready, I really, I was really missing you. You, you know, you had told me you were on your menses, so I was waiting for that one week. Isha, then nikikuja umekasirika. Mi nikasikia, I'm so blessed, and I came out, and this is what I did. I think I need to find myself and just forgive him and let it go because. We can't destroy a marriage of 20 years because of only one day mistake. I think that is not, we are not real. Let us find in our hearts to forgive and to let it go. Because today, ni munene ni memushika red handed. Tomorrow, I will also need the same mercy. And that's why for me, when my husband offends me, when he, he angers me, when he does something wrong, I, I want to find in my heart to forgive him because leo ni, leo ni, Leo, Nieye, Kesho, I would also want the same mercy to be reciprocated to me. So if I never shown mercy to him, how then will I, how, how shall we run this family when we are two of us wounded? So if you're there and your husband said sorry, and you still feel it has affected your sexual life, kindly see me also. We can connect and meet. So that I tell you how, what are the steps you need to go. And let it not affect you. The enemy should not deny you the pleasure of enjoying sexual intercourse. Please yeah. don't allow that in Jesus' name. Oh, wow. Can we continue? Do you want to listen to more? Okay, this is about the phone. Mm -hmm. This is a woman asking, does my husband have a right to my phone? Mm -hmm. And another woman is asking, my man is always on phone. Akiamka, social media. Akilala, social media. What is your advice, please? Wow, a good question. I want to say this. Now this is Pastor Sue. I have no problem, Pastor Munene, assessing my phone. And one of the things I have taught myself, because I'm not very ugly, I'm sure there are men who would want, you know, to think, now that this mama is talking about what I can try and see. Me, I have, I taught myself, anytime I'm approached by a man and he suggests us to have sex, just that, just suggest, I must tell it to pastor. And I just tell it in a joke, I can't tell it to my you know, I just hey, no, manager, manager, Then I tell him, so I don't bring it as a serious matter. And any time I speak it, I feel that person has left my mind. But any time you keep quiet, you keep quiet, you keep quiet, something begins to build up. And I want to say this, if you have a husband not like Pastor Monene whom you can share about a man who, is, who has approached you and you find that it will bring emotion and conflict, then get an account, somebody a, a mature, a mama, a mama, probably a mama, not a, not a man. Get a mama who is mature. You can just go, you want to take a cup of tea, sit down and tell you know what? There's this manager called Kamau. You know, and he was telling me this. You, and when you speak it out as a woman, that thing goes. You're getting that? That's the way to break sec secrecy. Any, that's the way to break anything that you want to build up. All the time. Nae Pastor Munene, he knows very well the years we have lived. Even if a woman approaches him and he is seriously in need of him, I don't confront those women. Me, I know my husband is still spot on. This guy is still hot. So for me, it makes me feel, wow, my husband is still admirable. And so when he tells me what I do, I just try to, if it is that, for example, if we go, like for us, because we go for missions out of the country and inside. So if I sense there's a lady and tells me, I don't know why this lady will be serving me. Jana. So when she comes, I'll be very wise. Excuse me, ma, can I serve him? Yeah, 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 he's your husband. Go and continue. Thank you. You see that? Oh, wow. So those four, one week we are there. When she brings the meal, I, I always, you know, can I serve him or you want to serve him? Yeah, you can do it, you can do it. So today I will do it, tomorrow she will do it. You're getting that. Without creating insecurity, I could behave like, why, why are you, why are you, why are you getting attracted to my husband? No. And he, he always tells me when a lady has interest with him, when she has that, I act as a protector to him without wow. this lady noticing. Wow. Are you getting that? Wow. And there's something I ag we agreed, and it, this one can never happen. If I find my husband with another lady, guess what? Me, I'll have no business with the lady. Amen. Me, I have a business with this man yes. who belongs to me. 
So nitamwambia Abu my dear, huyu wajua anakuona uki drive, najua tulianza wapi? Hii tulianza mafare, hebu kuja my dear twende. You get the point? Au au not even there at you still paint. Ngo me no. Usikupa afu eno. No no no, me I can't fight any woman. Any woman no. Because let me tell you the truth, something about a man. I don't know whether I'll first of all put it in Kikuyu, then I then I can interpret it. Mudumurume. Goroya kere mudumurume re on bilone nka ire. Goroya muthuri re. Ikoro go to the first wife. Goroya ke. Yani moyo wa roho ya mwanaume is to the first wife. Any time you see if you see the man going out, he's only going with the soul and the body, but the heart which is the spirit is in the wife. That's why a real husband will have a relationship with a lady somewhere but would not want the wife to ever know. That's a sign to tell you you have the heart. Na yuri akona moyo, akona ngufu kuliko yuri amechukua kiri na mui. Thank you. So we can't fight a lady. So so that is wisdom. Never fight another woman. Get your husband, go and talk. I'm going to that darling. Can you tell me what are the ideas you want me to change? Because how can we lose this marriage? How can my children grow without a father? Because of just sex. No, me, I'm ready to. You know, and men, when they feel you are, you are coming back to your senses, they are able to trust you. That's the way a man is. Wow. Let me tell you the truth, women. Don't have a mentality that men are difficult. Kama kuna kiumbe mungu aliumba raisi to handle is a man. Because jia mwanaume na imwe, jira no ino, no ino. Men don't change so much. And if you see your husband changing, there is a company of people who are surrounding him who are changing. Men are beat because of the way God has tailored their mind. Because they are only able to do one thing at a time. And seeing that he left all other women for you, kindly, let us get wisdom to be able to get this man this man on our side, it is possible. So don't get threatened by another woman. Kindly, you can share your phone, but constantly on phone. This is my statement. Listen to this and let everybody listen to this. Never ever create a relationship with things that are not living. Is a phone living? No. Is a computer living? No. Is money living? No. Is a car living? No. Is education living? No. Is post status living? No. no. So the most important person in your life is your wife. The most important person in your life is your husband and your children. And I want to say this, Musiwai kosana kosababu ya watoto. Why? Children are neighbors. Wow, wapi makofi, fantastic. Now, to wind us up because of time, there are two questions. One is, uh, one has been repeated. This is for women. Uh, they're asking how can we rekindle the love in the relationship and another one is asking is marriage supposed to be love long or lifelong how do you forget a hurtful past oh. from your spouse mm -hmm. and then there's one how do you deal with a husband who's constantly comes home at weird times in the morning and drunk oh. in every other day oh. drunkardness is a spiritual problem please and I want every man to know that. And I pray for that husband that he may come back home. Because oh, the people who suffer most are actually your children. And I want to talk to all the men. Kindly, just be responsible. One of the greatest spirit that destroys men is the spirit of irresponsibility. And that is the spirit that entered Adam. Adam. Wakati Adam wali, aliwekwa in the Garden of Aden, the first spirit that struck him was the spirit of irresponsibility. Responsibility is just responding to God's given ability in you. God has given you ability to take care of a wife, to take care of your children. Kindly respond to that. And how do you respond? By being present. Not absent, present. Be present. Because how do you monitor your children? How do you monitor your daughter? How do you monitor your wife? You know, some of us, we are even sick husbands and you are not aware. We have cramps when we're having our menses and we don't have anybody to share. Those are the things that you need to come and just get to know. And so much more as you want to, to have fun with your children, with your friends at the bar and all that, remember you have a family. And life is not rehearsal. You can't rehearsal. You can't, you can't go back. You can't call your, your two, three years that you are not at home and say that you want to leave them today. And can I say this? 
no man is rich enough to buy their past. So you've got to use your time every day very carefully. And especially invest in your children. The greatest gift you can give to your children is good memories of a good dad. Children already have enough memories of their moms. Let us put uh, good memories to our children so that forever they will love God. They would want to have families because of what dad was. Kindly men, let us be there for our children. And not just being there for them, learn to speak to them. Some of you say, what do I speak to? To them about talk to them about life issues have you ever talked about sexuality to your daughter or to your son have you ever told your son that i think at 12 years at answer wet dreams you know voice will break before the teacher tells them you are the first trainer that's what the bible says in the book of proverbs 22 verse 6 that train up your child in the way you should go so training is not for teachers training is for as a parent can I say this? There is a reason why God gives a child a mother and a father. Because what the mother brings is not what the father will bring. So both of you must compliment to make sure that you build a strong marriage. Wow. Wapi wow. makofi ya Pastor Sue. Wow. Thank you so much. Wapi makofi mzuri. Wow, it is so insightful to be with you guys. Thank you. Pastor Thank you Munene, so much. let me just shake your hand. Thank you so much for coming. Are you blessed? We love you. Have, have you learned a lot? Yes. Wow. wow. We have learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Marriage is in, is in our, we are addicted. But we are so honest. It's in our bloodstream. Wow. And, 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 and you can follow them on their social media platforms? Yes. Yeah, all the other social medias, the Facebook is yes. to Atua Pastor Sumonene. Mm. YouTube is just Pastor Sumonene official. You will find us there with Pastor Munene. And I believe that... Uh, God is going to cause us to have more meetings, DJ Mo. We promise that anytime you call us, we'll be available. Because we want to share this in this in. We have we are too loaded. It's the, true. the things we have about man tua tua, by the way, was just a knock on the door. Sasa mlango mumefunguka. Watcha to we heal marriages. Are you getting that? So we can't stand at tua tua. Now tua tua mlango mefungu. So we have too much to offer to the families and remove every default setting that has been put by environment, by the people that have been ahead of us. That is our mission. Removing every default setting that is not consistent with the word of God and putting factory setting. Amen. So that is my parting shot.